All right, guys, so I'm back with another video I want to demonstrate to you guys because I've tried to tell people this on several different occasions that the scale of your character does matter whenever it comes to uh, uh, animations in general, especially whenever it comes to uh, uh, hand placement on weapons. Uh, anatomy matters, you know, just like it matters in real life. If you're if somebody has a longer arm, they're going to be able to reach further than you. It's just how it how it goes. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that inside of Unreal, that it procedurally offsets things to try to make them match as, as closely as possible. That's not how things work. In Unreal, just like every other game engine ever created, uh, it, it works the exact same way. So if I rotate this 90 degrees, if I rotate this 90 degrees, Unreal is just going to copy and paste. That's all that's all they're going to do. So if this was rotated 90 degrees, this bone is going to be rotated 90 degrees too. Uh, so that's how it works. The, it's just going to rotate everything the exact same way. So if I rotate that up like that, it's gonna Unreal is gonna do the same thing for the smaller character. Again, every rotation is copy and pasted. If the uh, orientation of these is wrong, uh, then because right now I'm copying and pasting in, in uh, world space, but Unreal actually does this in local space or bone space, I guess. And uh, so if if the X is facing of this bone is facing the opposite direction on the other bone, then whenever you copy and paste uh, that rotation to the other bone, in other words, if you rotate this one, this way 45 degrees and this one is oriented in the opposite direction then unreal is going to rotate this 45 degrees if, it, if it's a positive 45 on this one it'll be a positive 45 degree on that one and so orientation matters bone orientation matters i can't say that enough bone orientation matters if uh if the bone orientation if the forward rotation was this way on this one then rotating this 45 degrees and if this if the bone orientation for that same one was up then unreal would rotate this 45 degrees up and so if the bones are not oriented the same you will get incorrect rotation between them so if you're sharing the same skeleton and it's and it seems to work and you get and you get the one for the, if you get the character that is sharing this skeleton and you take him outside into Blender and you make an animation for him, but his, his uh, weapon R bone, for example, that holds the weapon is actually, uh, if, if that is actually oriented in the opposite direction of this one in which they're sharing the skeleton for, then when you make the animation for this one and you bring it in, and you attach the weapon to it, the weapon will be will be facing backwards. It'll be the opposite. The whole entire thing will be rotated the opposite direction. Uh, because when you brought that back in, again, forward, forward on this one is, is based off of how the bone is oriented. It's not world, it's not world space, it's local. So Anyway, with that out of the way, we can rotate this. And again, like I said, all Unreal is doing is copying and pasting rotation. It doesn't care. It doesn't care if if one arm is 20,000 feet longer than the other arm. It's going to rotate it the exact same way. So, when I copy this, 
and I paste it and I copy this and I paste it you'll see it's in the wrong location why because of the difference in anatomy okay these are shorter than these and so they're gonna land in a different location now how do we normally uh, overcome this issue because we do overcome it well we use IK bones so the IK bones will still be pointed uh, to the same location and so what IK does is it adjusts this chain so that it so that it meets a target and it does this faster than I'm doing it now obviously because FK this is FK not IK and so you'll see it might be something like that but the thing is is if the uh, is so that you're well without using the uh, two bone IK to use the IK bone as your target then your your hand will be off of the tar off of this handle right here it'll be over here so after we apply the two bone ik on the animation graph your hand will now be over here where it's supposed to be now that now there's a limitation here is just like in real life you can't stretch people's arms and make their arms longer than they are uh and it's so well, in Unreal, you can actually, uh, but it's an option you have to opt into. So on the two bone IK, you actually do have the ability to stretch. So let's see, I'll just open up one here. Let me find the animation blueprint. It's here somewhere. Let me just go in here because I don't remember where it's at. There it is. So if we come over here to the graph, we can say two, two bone IK. You'll see that two bone IK does allow stretching. So you can check this and what it'll do is, let's say that you wanted the hand to be at the end of the barrel right or something like that you wanted it to be way out there if you wanted it to be right here though but you can't reach right there uh, if you enable stretch it'll actually stretch the arm and make the arm longer so that the hand will reach the target and that's how that works so it quite literally stretches the arm. And this might not be noticeable if it only has to stretch it a little bit, but your arm is still going to be locked. You see, it'll be locked, something like this. If I disable this, it'll look something like that, and that's going to look nasty. It'll look even worse on uh, on a character with short arms. It'll be even more obvious because the texture will be significantly stretched beyond what it was meant to be. You see. And so if you're trying to reach a, a location that can be easily reached on a long arm, but you're trying to reach that same location with someone with shorter arms because this right hand is in is gonna the two bone IK isn't going to move this hand that's holding the rifle. And so this will still be uh, just as far away as it would be for the larger character. Only the larger character has longer arms, and so they're able to reach it more easily. So in such a situation where the large character can easily reach that position, 
the shorter one is going to have its arm stretched taut and it's it's not going to have any slack and it's going to look nasty because as you're moving and uh the animation is moving the is supposed to be moving the weapon around you're going to you're going to see this pop 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 where where it comes out where it unlocks the the elbow will unlock and then it'll lock back unlock and lock back because uh, the target is too far away. If you don't enable stretching, then the hand the hand will simply it'll it'll simply not be at the target location. So if there's a grip there you're trying to to grab and it's too far away, your hand will literally come off of that grip. Just like in real life, if your arm isn't long enough to reach something, uh, it's just not going to reach it. It's too far away. That's just, it's, it's common sense. You would think, but apparently a lot of people think that inside of here it doesn't work like that. But, you know, it, things still have their limitations. Like I said, unlike real life, you can actually allow stretching on your arms inside of here. But it's not recommended. Uh, if you found this helpful, uh, make sure to like down below and subscribe.